Hello, everyone. Oh, boy. Are you ready for this one? I think you are. Let's go. Oh, no. I'd better not miss the train. I spent forever trying to convince Mom to let me travel alone. If I get stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again. I shouldn't have overslept. Yet I did. I can't believe I made it. Huh. Looks like I can handle myself after all. Mmm, a new message. Hey honey, don't forget to give the fruit to your uncle as soon as you arrive. It'll spoil if you don't eat it. The mom. Seriously, mom? I'll be fine. I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. Oh well, I guess that's just how Mom is. This train is actually pretty nice. I've never been on one of these before. I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. I guess it's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes Uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I get a whole train car to myself for three hours. Alright. <sighs> My neck feels funny. These chairs aren't very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message? Don't forget to text me when you arrive, okay? Love, Mom. Oh, Mom, please just let me go. Oops, this is my stop. <laughs> it feels good to stretch after sitting down in that train for so long. The fresh air feels nice, too. It smells like the ocean. I'm getting on the ferry right now. I'll be at the island soon. That should make her happy. I'm pretty sure the ferry ride isn't going to be too long. I should text Uncle and let him know that I'm going to be at the shrine soon. Hey, I'll be at the island in a few minutes. Can't wait to see you. I hope he gets it. Last I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to worry after all. Um, who is this? What? It's Maya, your niece. I'm supposed to visit you at the Asha Shrine this week. What's going on? I don't have a niece. My name is Takeshi, and I haven't even finished high school yet. Oh no, I got the wrong number. This is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I'm so sorry. I must have entered the wrong number. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. No, it's not your fault. Is your uncle's name Hisashi? How does he know about uncle? That's him. How did you know? I worked for him at the Asha Shrine last year, and he gave me this phone. He said it was a bigger nuisance than a help. Huh. <laughs> That sounds like Uncle. He hardly used his phone anyway. He probably forgot that we even had his number. That makes sense. My mom had to send an actual physical letter to him to let him know that I was coming. At least we know why he didn't answer his phone. Lol, snail mail. That's weird. I didn't get any calls. He didn't? I guess mom tried calling a different phone then. Maybe a landline. Oh, I'm at the island already. That was faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on this island, after all. Yep. Found it! I can't believe Uncle lives here alone. It just seems like an awfully big place for one person. I'm at the shrine with Uncle now. He says hi. I gave him the fruit. I'm glad you made it safely. How's your uncle doing? Honestly, he's a lot thinner than I remember. And he looks... old. Yeah. <laughs> Maya, that's your uncle. You should be more respectful. Uh, I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. Right, Mom. Sorry. I'm just tired. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Hopefully that will pass by her. <sighs> Why am I so worn out, anyway? All I did was sit around for most of the day. Hmm. I don't see a place to charge my phone. You know what? Oh well, this was supposed to be a break anyway. When it dies, it is dead. Mm, that was a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. Someone texted me last night. Hey Maya, you didn't respond to my text. Is everything okay? Sorry if I'm being pushy or something. I hope I didn't scare you off. 
Oh no, Takeshi, I totally forgot about him. Murph. Even so, it's not like we're friends or anything. It's a little creepy that he texts me like that. I'll probably get the idea if I don't write back. Anyway, I should probably get going. Uncle wanted me to go into town to get some food today. Man, it must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over on the ferry any time he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live out at the shrine anyway. He's only the caretaker, so he could live in town if he wanted to. I'm glad I can help him out a little bit at least. Well, I have a lot of daylight left. I can use this time to explore the island. The stairs look like they lead to somewhere interesting. I know the other path takes me to the pond, but Uncle warned me not to go there. He said that the path is dangerous, and I could fall in, although honestly, I just think he worries too much. Well, let's be hyphen and take the stairs. No sense in getting in trouble on my second day here. Besides, I want to see where the stairs lead. Wow, these stairs go up farther than I expected. I can't believe I'm tired already. I guess I don't really get to work out too often back home. Woo! I made it! I feel like my lungs are about to burst, but the view is incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at all the trees and the water. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like such a kid, but all I ever see at home are big buildings and concrete. Sexy. Oh, I should take a picture. Alright, steady. Snap! Looks good. I'm sure Mom will want to see this. I'll send it to her. No signal. I guess this island is pretty out of the way. Oh well, it can wait. I'll get a few more pictures while I wait. Hmm, I'm sure she'll want to see my room. And I should get one of Uncle since it's been a while. I wonder where he is right now. Oh, there he is! He's headed for the ferry. Is he going into town today? He's too far away from me. Even if I called for him, he wouldn't hear me. I guess I'll ask him for a picture later. Oh, this is the perfect time to go see the pond! I know he said not to go, but it should be fine as long as I'm careful. Hmm, it's smaller than I imagined. It's cute, though. It's a shame Uncle won't let visitors come here. I should get a picture of this, too. Alright, focus. Snap! What was that? I don't think I want to take any more pictures. I'm going to have to look at it again if I want to delete it from my phone, huh? Oh, boy. Deep breath. It's just a picture. Ugh. What? It looks fine. Then what did I just see? Maybe it was the reflection of the sunlight. I hope. I think I'm going to go back to my room now. I think that's enough exploration for one day. Maybe I should just go to sleep. Let's turn the phone off. I better not... I better turn my phone off. I don't want to look at it for a while. Uh, why am I awake? Huh? I'm sure I turned my phone off. You saw it. And who sent me a message anyway? Maya, stop ignoring me. Ugh. What is it with this guy? I'm deleting this and turning my phone off. There. Back to sleep. What? Why isn't this thing off? Maya, stop ignoring me. Uh, what is wrong with this guy? He's definitely crossed the line. I'm blocking his number. Point. All right. This time, stay off. Don't leave me like this, Maya. No, stay off. I'm lonely, Maya. Don't leave me alone. Why can't I turn my phone off? Don't ignore me. I want you to be with me. Please join me, Maya. I was so happy when you came to see me. Why did you leave? What? I came to see him? When? 
It was nice that you took a picture of me. Oh, no. The pond. Come back to me. Maya, I miss you. The face in the photo. Join me. It was real. It was him. It has to be. I want you to be with me forever. But that doesn't even make any sense. Takeshi and the pond. He can't be. What do I do? What happened to you? I can't believe I'm doing this, honestly. I'm not sure I want to know the answer. I died. When? Last summer, I fell. Hit my head and went into the pond. I died down there, alone. I don't want to be alone anymore, Maya. Don't leave me alone. Come see me. Oh, no, no, no. I have to make it stop. I have to get rid of this phone. I have to get rid of him. I can get rid of it here. I can throw it over the edge and then it'll all be over. Don't leave me, Maya. <laughs> Go away! Is he gone? Is he really gone? Oh, thank goodness. Morning. Oh, my head hurts. I feel like I had a terrible nightmare last night. It all seems really fuzzy, though. What happened? Where did my phone go? I thought I left it right next to my bed. Wait, I hear it. It sounds close. Hmm, not under my bed. Not on the table. Where is it? Why can't I find it? It's gotta be here somewhere. I can still hear it ringing. It's so close. It sounds like it's in my own head. It's not here. It's not anywhere. Then why do I still hear it ringing? Ending four. In the string. Okay, I don't know if you heard it, but seriously, some of the audio started to skip. And that was freaking me out. <laughs> Anyways, there is one more video. And I'm pretty sure that you guys haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, I mean ending. Did I say video? I meant ending. Well, there is one more video as well, so next time on Text, A Summer Story, the final video and the final ending. Stay tuned. <laughs>